Iran launched a significant and unprecedented attack on Israel, deploying scores of drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The assault, which occurred on April 13, involved drones like the Iranian-made Shahed-136 and Shahed-131, often referred to as kamikaze drones due to their low-cost design and tactic of crashing into their targets. Despite being dubbed as low mowers or mopeds for their sound and basic construction, these drones have proven effective in hitting their targets and causing damage. Experts note that these drones were basic are capable of inflicting attrition and damage, particularly when launched in large numbers. The Shahed-136, with an operational range of up to 2,500 kilometers, puts Israel within striking distance from Iran, despite being slower and having limited payload capacity. Israel managed to intercept all 170 drones launched by Iran, along with other projectiles with the assistance of the United States, United Kingdom, France, Jordan and Saudi Arabia. The attack, which involved over 500 projectiles, including drones, ballistic missiles, and rockets, marked the first direct assault by Iran on Israeli soil. The onslaught orchestrated from multiple countries, including Syria, Iraq, Yemen, and Lebanon, raised concerns of escalating tensions in the region and the possibility of a broader conflict between Iran and Israel. The attack came after Iran vowed to retaliate for the killing of a top general in a previous airstrike by Israel in Damascus on April 1st. While Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had warned of retaliation, world leaders including US President Joe Biden urged restraint. Israel's war cabinet has been authorized to respond, but the nature and timing of the retaliation remain undetermined. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant emphasized the need to be prepared for all scenarios, indicating ongoing tensions and the potential for further escalation. Meanwhile, Iran has warned a much bigger attack if Israel retaliates, signaling a shift in the dynamic between the two nations. The situation remains tense with both sides poised for potential further action amid international calls for de-escalation and diplomatic solutions. Stay tuned for updates and make sure you subscribe for more news and share your thoughts in the comment section below.